Sonia Miller with Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my daily creative vlog. Happy Sunday afternoon to you all. It's a beautiful one. Still some flurries flying around out there. It definitely is a chilly day. You just saw that I, in the kitchen, I'm looking over there right now because I'm just waiting for the oven to completely warm up so I can put a Sunday afternoon pizza in. And in the meantime, I have got a cup of nice and warm chai tea. So I had to make sure my tea wasn't below me. Oh, good. I moved it. Thank goodness. All right. As dry pieces fall off, I'd be like, no, not of my coffee. So I'm grabbing my tray here, just a regular tray from my dollar store. And I'm going to put out maybe some colors, like a color combo that I want to use today. I'm going to go paint some flowers. So it might involve some pinks. I'm going to use my Junk Monkey paint for this project. Junk Monkey is nice and thick and I'm able to pick it up on my palette knife, which is what I love, and it dries to an ultra matte vintage look, which I, again, love. I saw you from across the room When our eyes met, I never knew could feel this way and it's kind of strange don't even know your name doctor shows you this in front and he goes what is it what do you see so right now this is me mapping out just a general idea of the balance of my picture because when you start painting if you don't lay down a map sometimes you can realize you paint yourself off your canvas or whatever the surface is so it's always good to lay down just an idea of where you want to go so the vase the flowers and I was just kind of getting the size of where I wanted them to go and of course I am a shabby girl that tends to go to the dark side so my base is going to have a cool shabby dark antique to it. You can see the colors that I have out here so I'm going to start from my flowers probably keep them like right around here so this is antique lace this is berry dance and this is don't make me blush but one of the great things that you can do, especially when you're using like a palette knife and you're really going for like impressionistic where things just aren't perfect, but rather you can look at it and tell what it is, but it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. A palette knife gives you a great, um, a great way to achieve just a beautiful, messy, but you can tell what's in the photo kind of look. And the other thing I like to do on top of the palette knife is to blend the colors together. So for example, picking up a little bit of the antique lace with a little bit of the berry dance and you know what? We can also include a little bit of the Don't Make Me Blush as well. And then what's really cool is when we bring this over to here to start with, what's gonna happen is, you see how it all marbles together? Oh yeah, isn't that beautiful? Oh, love it so much. So I'm gonna use my palette knife. And when I do this, I like to think of it as I'm doing commas. You know, like a comma like that, right? The punctuation mark. Yeah, well, you're basically creating commas the entire way around. I'm hoping that you stick around. Show me what it's like from the other side. Would you stay another night? down here what do you guys think this is the liberty blue and i put a little touch of the white into it so it makes it look like makes it interesting it looks like light is hitting the one side of it yeah to 
top is starting to dry I do want to add some white on top of it but let's go ahead and paint this frame I love a dark frame really makes a picture pop <laughs> Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready let me be honest I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me let me be real here when I see you my heart starts racing but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around it's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me but this time this time Girl, I know what's bothering me I need somebody to love Oh, nah, 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 nah Don't you see what's wrong with me I need somebody to love Oh, oh, nah, nah I don't know what I could say To convince you to hang around that I used in here and put it somewhere else. Remember your eye always loves to see repeating patterns. So let's put it somewhere else other than just in the flowers. Awesome. All right, friends, one of the best pieces of advice I could give to you, especially when you're doing paintings, is this is still wet and we're working with the paint in a wet form. And when paint continues to touch each other, eventually you use your, lose your color and what happens is it turns just blah, all right, like gray, and you lose the vibrancy because everything has become intermingled. So one of the best things you can do for yourself is give yourself patience to let this dry, and then once it's dry, you can come back over it and you can add some extra layers on top of it. So I'm probably gonna work a little bit more on my flowers. As I say, don't touch it. Don't touch it, Sonia! There we go. I just want them to intermingle a little bit more. So, but what I don't want to do is play with it and overwork it. Overwork it, girl. Overwork it when you get to the gym, okay? Don't overwork it on your paintings. But let's leave it like this. And then when I come back and it's dry within the hour, I can add some more layers onto it. I can distress it, because remember I painted this on wood, which to be totally honest with you, I probably will do this. I will probably distress a bunch off of it and let some of the wood come through. And because it is painted on wood, I can seal with my ever-loved All Natural Monkey Shine. That will give a beautiful finish to this. Usually I seal with banana peel, but the very fact that this is just a painted wood piece, you guys know that wood loves the monkey shine, right? The oil wax finish. So I will probably seal it with that. All right, stay tuned in the vlog. I'll show you when I finish it off. That'll probably be on tomorrow's vlog because my pizza's ready. I'm going to go eat some pizza. Let this dry. I'm not going to take out my heat gun because I don't want to mess up the drawing. I want all the um, I want the paint to stay raised up. I don't want to blow it anywhere or anything like that. So be patient, let that dry, and then know that you can keep on adding on once it's dry. The other tip is to take a photo of it. Did you guys know that? If you take a photo of your piece of um, artwork, walk away, look at it on a phone. For some reason, when you see it as a picture on, on a phone, you can identify areas that you might want to change up or just kind of correct a little bit, right? So I'm off to eat some pizza. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully it inspired you as I look to make sure I don't drip on into my tea. All right. See you guys. Have a great one.